Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'll be reacting to What a Girl Wants, starring Amanda Bynes, the star of the early 2000s movies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. And his name was Henry. Oh my god, it's Colin Firth. I love Colin Firth. He is such a good actor. I love him in Pride and Prejudice and in The Kingsman. He was so funny in The Kingsman. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this time, she was definitely not what they were expecting. Okay, girl over here looking like a country Barbie. So even though it broke her heart, she knew she had to leave him. A few months later, fate gave her the greatest gift of all. A beautiful baby girl named Daphne. To be honest, that is so messed up. The dad has every right to know that he has a daughter, and she is so wrong for purposely hiding that from him. She's really giving off the same vibes as the mom from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Wait, if she's 17, how did she get a passport and a plane ticket? I don't think you can get those without parental consent. Maybe it's different depending on the state she's in. I mean, she is in New York. It's pretty lawless. But I'm pretty sure you need parental consent for that. Sorry to interrupt, Daddy, but if I don't steal Henry away this minute, he'll miss his speech at the Oxfam Ball. Oh. Well, I guess Miss Bingley finally got Mr. Darcy. <laughs> well, anyway, she left. Apparently taking something of yours with her. I'll put a cork in it, Clarissa. Maybe someone should have put a cork in it 17 years ago. Well, she just has joke after joke locked and loaded, just ready to go whenever. Mind you, Alistair, that we are dealing with a living, breathing 17-year-old girl here. That's the problem. The only thing we know about her is that she's an American teenager. Hardly a promising start. Still, what do you think, Henry? Liability or asset? Uh, well, okay. They do realize... That's his daughter they're talking smack about right to his face, right? And he's just letting them talk about her like that? <laughs> okay. Strong. I say, you're right. You saw. I never noticed before, but she fell into the royal family's lap. I'm pretty sure she fell into the now king's lap. She just made one old man very happy. <laughs> and probably gave her dad a brain aneurysm at the same time. <laughs> Arrange some sort of coming out party for you. Coming out party? Coming out as what? Dang, I didn't get a coming out party. Oh, very you. Honestly, I kind of like it. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be the hideous dress that she is being tricked into wearing by her evil stepmom and sister, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, never mind. That dress is way better. She even made the kind of cute dress into like a little coat or whatever it's called. But have you ever noticed in these movies, they always make the main character super good at fast clothing alterations? Like, that's just a pretty common thing you see in these movies. They can always turn their ugly dress into something beautiful within five minutes. First of all, I could get fired. And second of all, I could get fired. Come on. No. Wimp. No. No. For me? Okay. That was not cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but that was not cute. <laughs> it's giving Debbie Ryan as Radio Rebel, just... <laughs> That's not really her fault. I think he needs to go and get a refund for whoever installed that chandelier, because they did not install it well at all. 
<laughs> if it really fell just because a few people were jumping around and dancing. For some reason, they took pity on me, their half-breed grandson. They paid for me to go to all the right schools. They got me into all the right clubs. Until one day I realized the hypocrisy of it all. So he chose to give up the money to have a life of struggle? He chose to struggle. Can I have his money then? Because honestly, I would love the easy money, okay? I'm tired of the struggle. Despite myself, I find your Yankee vulgarity intensely attractive. So forget about the car parking mixed race mongrel and give me that kiss you've been longing to give me since we first met. He has the most punchable face. <laughs> and he's actually so disgusting every time he speaks. Who knows, this actor could be a great guy, but he plays this character so well. The burden of being a member of this family is that there are certain codes of behavior that one is expected to observe. You, as my daughter, have to, um... I have to change. Wow. He really said, if you want to be my daughter, you can't be you. That is brutal. Why is everyone in this movie so brutal? So royal. I hope it makes you feel like a princess. But you know, my dear, it's not the crown that makes the queen. It's what's in here. No. No, it's 100% the crown. They get the title whether they suck or not. She looks stunning. Amanda Bynes is just stunning. Or was just stunning. <laughs> is that too soon? Probably not. But she looks like a princess here. She just looks like she's glowing. Honestly, she looks amazing. It's your party. You can do whatever you want. Ian, I really I don't want to hear about it, Taff. What happened to the old you? The real you. I just love his expressions here. You can really just feel all of the pain that he is feeling. You know? Acting is so overrated. Why act when you can just talk like a mannequin? You must find somebody divine for Lubby here to dance with. Libby. Remember? And why doesn't he just ask her himself? Nope. Nope. I know the stepmom sucks, but that does not mean she can help her mom be a homewrecker. Again. Because she did kind of wreck her own home at the beginning of the movie. The mom, I mean. So she's a double homewrecker. Look what he did with Daphne. Hmm? Quite an achievement, wasn't it? I thought I was going to have to get rid of her. Like I had to get rid of her mother. But... <laughs> Say it a little louder, babe. I don't think the people at the front heard you. He was really just saying that as if his daughter and Henry were already married. <laughs> he was really just asking to be overheard. What I wanted was to be given a chance. You have had 17 years of chances, Henry, and I've had 17 years of waiting for you to take them. Uh-uh. No, she has no right to say that to him. She is almost 40. Is she really still that childish? If you leave someone just so they can run after you, then you don't deserve them. You know, when I was little, every birthday I'd get all dressed up and I'd wish. And if I was good enough, that you'd come and find me. No, you know what? I know why he never went and chased after his daughter. It wasn't because he didn't know she existed, because, I mean, <laughs> where's the logic in that? Obviously, you should automatically know if you have a kid or not. That's the way it works. Um, it was because he is ill-qualified to recommend himself to strangers. <laughs> I 
I really hope y'all get that line. Otherwise, I just look ridiculous. More ridiculous. <laughs> and now here I am in the most beautiful dress I could ever imagine. And you're here. I also don't think him dancing with Clarissa was wrong. That might be controversial, but she's right. She is soon to be his stepdaughter. And in my opinion, a kid is a kid whether they're biologically related to you or not. They're still your kid. And she is soon to be a stepdaughter. Also, it doesn't really look like she has a father in the picture. I'm not sure why they don't really say that in the movie. But, I mean, she deserves to have the father-daughter father -daughter dance too. <laughs> and I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. I just, I just can't like Daphne's mom. Overall, she seems like a decent person, but then when you like look at the base of how this story is happening, her mom sucks. I mean, not only did she hide a child from a father who clearly wanted to be a father, but she then practically taunts Daphne by waving her father in her face just out of arm's reach. Not only does she raise Daphne with the knowledge that she has a father who just doesn't know about her, but then she tells her stories of her father and even gives her pictures of him and then can't seem to comprehend why Daphne is so obsessed with finding him, why she feels like a part of her is missing without him. It's because the mom was practically waving him in her face her whole life and then saying, you can't find him, you can't be around him. Like, what did the mom expect? Plus, she doesn't seem to feel any remorse for separating a family. Even if her and the dad separated, he still had every right to be in his kid's life. And she took that chance away from not only him, but also took the way a chance for Daphne to have a father. Which is why I must now respectfully withdraw my candidacy. Oh. Representing you would undoubtedly be the greatest honor of my political life. But it would simply be impossible to do so I'm not serving my own conscience. I understand what they're trying to do here, but he doesn't need to give up his spot in the, I don't know, council or whatever it is he's going for just to have a daughter. He can still be governor or whatever while having a daughter. He can still have a family as well as a political position. You never did want me to go, did you? There never was anyone else, was there? Henry and the mom are probably going to get back together again, but I kind of hope they don't, because she sucks. I'd say I owe you a rather large apology. She needs to apologize to him. He does not need to apologize to her. He did nothing wrong. I... I don't know how many more times I can say it because this movie's not going to change. It's been established for quite a while. The movie's already made. It's out there. It happened, but it bothers me. He did nothing wrong. And it really bothers me that this movie is trying to paint him as the bad guy, trying to paint him as the absentee father when that's not at all true. I told you lately that I love you. Have I told you there was so much passion in that. <laughs> you just know Henry has been wanting to do that since he first spoke to the mom again. <laughs> Henry really be like, in vain I have struggled. It will not do. <laughs> I can't get enough of these Pride and Prejudice quotes. I really hope y'all are getting them. <laughs> just in case you were wondering what happened to Clarissa and Glynis, don't worry, they ended up exactly as they should. Bro didn't even wait for the ink to dry on their marriage certificate before he started cheating on her. <laughs> like, dang, at least let them seal the envelope first. My parents got married again. This time it was legal. <laughs> I think. As a kid, I didn't realize how toxic the mom's character was. But she's incredibly toxic. She honestly made the stepmom look like a better character. 
which kind of says a lot because the stepmom was also not a good character or should i say she made clarissa look like a better character because the stepmom honestly didn't do that much wrong she didn't do too much clarissa on the other hand sucked <laughs> um, but other than the mom this movie's amazing i love amanda Bynes, and i love 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 colin firth they are amazing actors they did really well together like they had a nice kind of awkward father-daughter type of chemistry going on and it fits so well with the movie because i mean that's the point of the movie but this is such a feel-good movie i love it i don't think i can watch it without getting irritated at the mom though but other than that i do love this movie and go ahead and let me know in the comments below what y'all thought of this movie and what y'all thought of my video and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye